Well, now on TVC News, thank you for joining us. We are staying on the death of the Olubadon Fibadon, Lekon Balogun Ali Okumade II. His body has now arrived at Makpo Hall for lying in state. Present at the event are Obas and Council, among whom is the former governor of your state, Senator Rashidi Ladoja. The Olubadon died at the age of 81 at the University College Hospital in Ibadan. Governor for your state, Shei Makende, who made the announcement in a statement, described the late monarch as an epitome of royal excellence and a great achiever to, during the two years of his reign. The governor expressed his condolences to the Olubadon Council, the Oyo State Traditional Council, the people of Ibadan land, and the Oyo State, praying to God to grant repose to the soul of the deceased monarch. Also, condolences have come from the president, Bola Tinobu, who has commiserated with the people of Oyo State on the demise of the Olubadon. Our team is on ground in Ibadan covering this incident and uh, our correspondent Ayomide Adegbe joins me live now for some updates. Ayomide, we understand the line and state of uh, the Olubano is taking place. Talk to us more about that. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Boss Eddie. Um, of course, we got to Ibadan not quite um, long, um, some two hours ago, and we've been experiencing some sort of traffic, you know, um, en route the palace of uh, the monarch. This right behind me is where the monarch is going to be buried. This is where the ancestors are buried in the past who have been kings in this town. And what we understand is that, according to tradition, um, there was a little bit of misunderstanding uh, earlier because um, the council is saying they have not yet communicated with the government on the demise of the king, but the government has announced the demise of the king. But, of course, that is in the past now. The issue now is the king being buried here and the ambience, the, the situation in town. When a king is, 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 uh, has departed, you discover that everywhere is supposed to be quiet, markets are supposed to be closed, and um, people are supposed to just be sober. But in Ibadan today, it seems like um, a festival. There is um, you no know, buying and selling, everyone is going about their business. Uh, looking around the town, you can see everyone just um, in their normal mood. Some people even seem unbothered. I spoke to one of the persons around. He was like, oh, I didn't know. Uh, every two years, a king dies in Ibadan. And the person who is next in line to the Olubado is above 80 years now. We don't know if that will be the person that will emerge as the next Olubado of Ibadan land. Fingers crossed. You know, I'm, I, I'm looking at this uh, unbothered state of some people because definitely behind you we can see a lot of people gathered and activities, as you said, you know, have uh, uh, remained as though nothing significant happened. So could that just be a sign of uh, the changing times? I mean, maybe there's a new generation uh, who, who does feel that, okay, something has happened, so let's just move on with what is left. You took it out of my mouth. I don't um, want to assume that there is a new generation who doesn't, who are not, uh, uh, who do not know about the the, the history of um, the Yoruba land. I don't want to think that there is a new generation who are not bothered about the departure of a king. Yes, you're right. Sympathizers are here, mourners are here, people from different clans in Ibadan are here. They are here, of course, because it is the right, it is the tradition to, uh, to bury the king. And, um, but, of course, overall mood in Ibadan suggests that uh, both young and old are just going about their normal business. So it might be a departure from what used to happen back in the day where markets are closed, everyone is working soberly, nobody is trying to engage each other in any argument. But here, it's just, everything is just um, business as usual. So maybe there's a departure in the times, like you said. All right, Ayamide, we thank you for that update. We understand the Yolubana will be buried at 4 p.m. We will definitely get back to your team over there for the updates. Thanks again, Ayamide.